Well, good evening and welcome. I hope you're having a good week so far. You know, I've been thinking a lot recently about forgiveness. And I'd like to talk about that for just a few minutes tonight. But before we do, let's join the team now in a time of worship together. This old world seems to get you down Looks like you are going nowhere fast Think about the things that never came What you have been spared from in the past I thank you Lord for things that never happened I thank you Lord You know, one of the hardest things it is to do is to forgive. More importantly, to forgive and forget. I had this sweet old aunt. She lived to be a hundred. And she always had words of wisdom. But I can remember a couple of times I said, Aunt Edna, I'm sorry. And she'd say, I'm going to forgive you, but I'm not going to forget. And truth be told... If you're not going to forget, you're really not going to forgive. But not forgiving can become so toxic within us. Turn with me in your Bibles to Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, Ephesians 4.32. And it says, instead, be kind to each other, tenderhearted. Forgiving one another just as God through Christ has forgiven you. And so when we choose not to forgive, it doesn't hurt the other person. (laughs) It only hurts us. 
do I mean by that? You know, there's, I can think of many times in my life that somebody has done me wrong. Many times as a pastor, somebody in the church got their feathers in a ruffle and were either unkind or, or did something mean. It's amazing to me how often it is in the world that we live in, especially today, with road rage and everything else going on, there's so much unforgiveness. And, and there have been times in my life as an adult where somebody really did me wrong. And you know, it's, it's not easy to forgive. It really isn't. And I realized as I harbor that unforgiveness, it's not hurting the person that did me wrong. It's just destroying me. And so, so at some point, you have to decide what's more important. Now, we can look at it biblically. We know God wants us to forgive in the same way he's forgiven us. But in our human nature, that's not always easy to forgive and to forgive and forget. And so really, when we choose not to forgive it, it's hurting us. It's not hurting the person that's done this wrong. Not forgiving also changes us. There was a time in my life through one of the churches that I pastored that I was really, really done wrong. Now, I'm not going to get into the details or name names because it's not important. I have learned in my life to forgive. But there was a time after this happened that I wasn't about to forgive. I harbored that in here. I harbored it for years. And I would think about it over and over. And every time I thought about it, it made me madder and madder and angrier and more determined than ever not to forgive. And one night as I was reading the scriptures, I came across the Lord's Prayer. Matthew 6 is the Lord's Prayer. But as you repeat the Lord's Prayer, our Father who art in heaven, and you follow it down through the outline that Jesus gave his disciples, and you get to verse 12. And verse 12 says, And forgive us our sins as we have forgiven those who have sinned against us. And I kind of choked. Because I realized then and there, as the Spirit spoke to my heart, that I'm asking God to forgive me when I sin, and we all sin. No matter how hard we try, we all fall short of the glory of God. But when we recite the Lord's Prayer, we're asking God to forgive us as we, or in the same way that we forgive others. And I realized, how can I ask God to forgive me when I haven't forgiven these people for what they did to me? And right then and there, I just prayed to just, I want to forgive and I want to forget. And, and it was like a huge burden was lifted from my shoulder. But you know, the longer you don't forgive someone, pretty soon you begin to forget. You begin to forget why. Oh, you remember the hurt. You have it within here. But you forget what it was all about. And if you look at it logically, you realize probably it wasn't that big a deal. And as I was thinking about forgiveness, I was thinking about good old Yosemite Sam. Do you remember Yosemite Sam? Well, this doll was my brother's doll. And when he and I were growing up, when we were in our late teens and early 20s, we had a band. My brother played keyboard, and as you know, I play guitar. And he had Yosemite Sam sitting next to his piano every time we took the stage. Yosemite Sam was there. And my brother passed away some years back, and this is one of the few things that I have that was his. 
And as I was looking at this doll, I was reminded, growing up, my brother was my best friend. We were as close as two people could be. We went everywhere together, did everything together. But you know, there were times when he would do or say something to me, or I would do or say something to him, and we'd get mad at each other, and we wouldn't speak, and we wouldn't forgive each other. We wouldn't even look at each other. But after a while, we'd start to miss each other, and one of us would go to the other and say, I'm sorry, and we'd hug each other, and it was all over, and we'd go back to being best friends again. And as I thought back about the times that we would fight, and we would not forgive, and then we got to the point where we just forgave each other and hugged each other, sometimes laughed about what we were mad at each other about, that sense of burden lifted from our shoulders was an incredible blessing. And so I put to you today, forgive, forgive as God has forgiven you. Jesus' name.
pray. Our Father, we love you. And we know at times it's so hard to forgive when somebody's done us wrong. And we want to harbor that resentment. But we know in your word, you've told us to forgive just as you have forgiven us. And so Father, help us, help us to be able to forgive and forget and love and be tender-hearted And be kind as you have been to us. Father, for everything, we'll be careful to give you the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Just remember, forgive in the same way that you have been forgiven. God bless you. I look forward to seeing you again here next week. Have an awesome week ahead, and I'll see you soon.